Hey, Troy, what are you doing? Mistletoe. <laughs> you have mistletoes? Yeah. Now you have to come give me a kiss. That oh, don't okay. count. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my love. You. And here's one from Baxter, too. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back. Um, it is December. It's the season of the holidays. I love the holidays. I love decorating. Um, today we're going to be doing something very, very fun. We're going to be pouring over this Christmas gnome, this Tom tea, if you will, T-O-M-T-E. You can probably see it a little bit better in one of these because I have him taped off. Um, these are Scandinavian in origin. Um, they're meant to be spirits uh, that protect the farm and livestock. Um, they're said to be, they come from the soul of the first owner of a farmer hom homestead. <laughs> and uh, they can be mischievous, they can be pranksters, but they can also be, you know, uh, very, uh, very ardent protectors of your yes. home and buildings and livestock. The thing I always heard about the Tom Tea was you have to feed them on Christmas Eve. You have to give them their porridge, otherwise they get very upset and they will not be good to you throughout the year. Whereas if you give them their porridge on Christmas Eve, they will protect your homestead and your animals and your family and take good care of you and you might get some gifts from them in return. Yeah, so, sure. What we're going to do today, I have taped him off, actually HOA taped him off. He has cling wrap on him and then blue painter's tape around. So I don't want to paint this part on the bottom right now. We're gonna be pouring on his hat today. And I have a 12 by 12 canvas underneath here with more of HOA's brilliance. <laughs> I was trying to fit this on the spinner, but my push pins were in the way and he said, why don't you just flip it over? Which of course HOA always being right. <laughs> so now this spins as well. So we're gonna put him on here and we're gonna pour on top of his little hat, which is interesting because it's very pointy on top. So let me move this over real fast and I'll show you what colors we're working with today. Beautiful stuff. Our beautiful 24 karat gold from Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics is back. I don't think you could have Christmas without gold. <laughs> so this is really pretty. The pouring medium is a little bit interesting tonight. My pouring medium is actually, where did I put it? Golden's Heavy Gloss Gel, because that's what I had on hand. And I've mixed this with Floetrol and come up with this pouring medium. And this actually was what I did in my collaboration with Erica Hughes in that big, huge 36 by 36 blowout softly cinnamon. This was the pouring medium that she used. I'm actually out of Liquitex Gloss Medium. It's supposed to arrive today, but we wanted to paint this morning. So we've mixed the Golden's Gel Gloss with Floetrol. I started out with a bunch of gel gloss in the bottom of the cup and I just added a little bit of Floetrol, stirring it in at a time until it was almost as thin as I wanted it. Then I added some more water to thin it out. So that's our pouring medium for today. We'll see how that goes. It should work fine though. Uh, so that's our 24 karat gold. Then we are using Golden's Iridescent Pearl, which is such a beautiful pearl. Really, really pretty stuff. Very pretty. And I'll probably use this on his beard as well later on. Cool. So that's the pearl. And then we are using Sarah Max signature color, <laughs> Arteza Bordeaux Red. Such a beautiful, beautiful color. Honestly, it's so deep and rich. And I know Sarah does such amazing things with this. So we're gonna be using our Bordeaux Red for his hat. And then I'm also using my Amsterdam Bronze. Just can't get enough of this. <laughs> Bronze obsession. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, it just it dries so pretty. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use this five chamber split cup from Tracy Reed. This is a ten ounce split cup, and I'm going to put the red on both sides, and then the bronze on one side and the gold on the other side, and I'm gonna put the pearl in the middle. So. That's our game plan. So let's go ahead and start with that. I'm actually gonna put the two in the middle chamber first. So let's put the bronze on this side. And I recommend you have a tub of water standing by that you can dunk your split cup into as soon as you're done pouring. Personally, I go hit it with the garden hose. <laughs> gold on this side. Thank you. 
chambers. I do want his hat mostly red. ready to go cool um i do also have a 12 by 12 canvas underneath the tomty to catch the drips and so we'll do some kind of pour and i'm pretty sure that i'll tilt that out and then we'll maybe do another little pour with more intention um i am going to take some of my bronze and just pour it on top of him at first to kind of put down like a little bit of a base coat on him and i'm going to smooth that out just to get the get it wet so that our paint can actually slide. I have a few of these garden sculptures so far. We've done a couple of cats at Halloween. We did a peacock one. That was a lot of fun. Um, I think I did a lion. Yeah, we did a lion also one time. Really good. And tortoise? And we did a tortoise. Yeah, well, that was a resin turtle. I was talking about pouring mm -hmm. on ceramic figures. Oh yeah, yeah, the mm -hmm. little turtle, that's right. Little Grandma. parties. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now that there's a little bit of paint on there, it should slide around nice and easy when we pour. And hopefully having the painter's tape there is gonna keep the underneath part nice and clean. That's the hope anyway. Okay. All right. So, this should be fun. <laughs> Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yeah, Let's sure. Start up here, you think? Yes. <laughs> yeah, sure. I am ready. Okay. Here we go. We're going to just pour kind of like in a ribbon or maybe in some rings. I might spin the spinner a little bit distribute this evenly. It's pretty cool looking already. Slow, sexy spin, huh? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love that Bordeaux red, it's such a beautiful color. Okay, I love all this. Sexy Tomsky. <laughs> okay, so let's take him off because I like how he looks. You think he's done? Mm -hmm. Enjoy for the moment? Okay. Yeah. Pick him up. We're gonna put him over here for now. Now we have all of this paint on here. I'm gonna use that as a base. I'm just gonna spread it out with my fingers. I think we could probably get rid of the spin. Well, I'll we'll keep it in there for now. I have a pearly red. So I'm going to fill my cup up again one more time. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with the red on either side.
arms on this side. Back is in here, snorting away. So if you hear snorts, it's not HOA, it's the dog. <laughs> Dogs always gotta steal my thunder. <laughs> well, if you snort, well, you do kind of snort. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Grunt maybe, but never snore. You or snore. You do snort. No, 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 not um, <laughs> snort. Snort. Yes. That's right. I okay. do not snort. I snort right. not. What should we do, HOA? Should we do a lovely ring pour style or a straight pour from up high? All right, let's try a let's try a straight pour from up high. Let's see if we can get some pretty effects because we do have this lovely split cup here ready. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yeah, sure. <laughs> can we get right in the middle? have a very wet background. Yeah, I know. But it's easier to get the paint out when it's very wet. All right, let's uh, let's tilt this out and see what happens. reaching for like the rest of the canvas. <laughs> That's all there is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> curve and then I straightened out that line. <laughs> you can put it back. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna. Take a little bit more paint off of that corner. So that this does actually dry sometime this year. It's driving me nuts how long it's taking everything to dry. Like five or six days. This actually looks like a pine cone. <laughs> I like it though. I'm gonna wipe my hands off. I like this, I think it's really cute. Let's give it a torch. Okay, so these turned out really, really cute. I'm just gonna give you a little 
spin. I actually really like the way his hat came out. I love that there's more solid bits of red some places, but we also have those really cool stripes. They're going to dry really pretty and metallic. I think he came out awesome. So when this is dry, I will peel off all of the paint and probably paint his beard with that same pearl white and then give him clothes in like emerald green or something because he's obviously for Christmas. Uh, this one came out really, really pretty. Kind of looks like a pine cone to me almost, but I love that swoop and that swirl in there. So really cool stuff. We'll be right back. I'll show you when it's dry. Thanks for being here with us today. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back. We're ready for part two. Our gnome came out so cute once I took the tape off. Thank you to HOA for doing such an expert job of taping it and uh, using the cling wrap so it didn't get dirty. Um, a little bit of red paint that's on there is definitely my fault. <laughs> but he came out adorable and I'm so excited about him. I love how that Bordeaux red is nice and deep and dark. I love that you can see the bronze and the gold and the pearl in there all together. And I really like the pattern that it came out. It's not too much of any one color. It looks really, really cool. So I'm very excited about this. So to finish him off, I'm going to paint his beard that same pearl white. And then I'm going to paint his little outfit, some of this beautiful emerald green from Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. And I think for his nose, we're going to go with the pearl white with just a hint of, hint of some warmth in there. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. So let's get started. I have a little bit of satin enamels in pure white here. I have a couple old paint brushes. Keep, keep stuff out of the sun. Okay. So I think the first thing we should do is just use a thin brush. I'm going to put a tiny bit of water in here because it's very empty. <laughs> I'm just going to mix that. Okay. I'm going to use a small brush. I'm just going to kind of go over his nose just a little bit. straight from the tub. wipe it so it's just in the cracks. You know what I mean? Yeah, the brush is pretty high, so I'm sort of doing that anyway. Is that better? Yeah. That's cool. Alright. Alright. Now 
Maybe his nose should be kind of blue. <laughs> it's like he's freezing. <laughs> Feet, a little bit of black. Yeah. Your obsidian. Obsidian is black. Obsidian is like metallic black. Tomkey Foreman. We have a whole bunch of other Tomkeys in the house. This guy's their leader. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Uh, all finished. So this was cool. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. I appreciate you being here. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. We'll see you real soon. Here he is. <laughs> He's so cute. I love his hat. I love how that pour came out. I like his nose and his pearly beard. I like his little emerald green jacket <laughs> and the obsidian shoes. Very cool. I have put a couple coats of the Rust-Oleum triple thick varnish on there and he's nice and shiny. Beautiful stuff. Turned out really, really cool. This was a lot of fun. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I will show you the 12 by 12 when it's completely, completely dry. Hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Be kind to yourselves. Be kind to everyone. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.